BBC Radio Lincolnshire. So we're talking about things that um, you can't believe are in Lincolnshire on the show today. And did you know that we, here in Lincolnshire, are home to a firm that offers the first cyber funeral service in the UK? You heard me right. Cyber funeral service. What is a cyber funeral? Uh, Alana Benson is from Digital Ox in the north of the county. Joins us now. Uh, morning, Alana. So come on, what is a cyber funeral? Morning. Um, so a cyber funeral, uh, think about everything you have online in your name, all your social media accounts, all your online footprint, and think about what would happen if you sadly passed away. Right. Uh, a cyber funeral gives your family the opportunity to have copies of those accounts either printed out or stored digitally for them, um, but ultimately erased so that your online footprint is, you know, is gone and isn't a reminder to family members who might find it quite painful to see that everything's still there. Um, a cyber funeral is just a, a sort of online cleanup job, really. Right. So uh, on YouTube, there is a video of me dressed in very tight lycra, <laughs> um, dancing the YMCA at the RAF Waddington International Air Show a few years back. And I fear that's going to be my legacy when I'm gone. So you could you could get that removed, could you? You could get that vanished. Uh, YouTube should agree um, <laughs> to your family requesting that that's gone after you pass away, yes. Uh, however, if it's deemed to be in the public interest to remain, some very exciting and important things like that might have to stay up. Yeah, you see, and knowing my family, they wouldn't want it removed. They'd want me to continue <laughs> being embarrassed by that. Um, and so do you get much take up? Have you had a lot of, uh, of people um, getting in touch wanting this kind of service? From as far away as America. Um, Yeah, we're not just the only company in the UK that advertises it. We're one of very few companies worldwide that advertises it. Um, We've done a couple um, for uh, Portuguese uh, and Spanish speaking families as well. Um, And yeah, it's it's not our busiest thing that keeps us going every day. But for sure, we do get an inquiry a month asking us to go into more detail about it. And can you, I've heard of some people where their social media accounts are kept active uh, once they've gone. Can you, can you do that for people as well if they, if they want it? Yes. Yeah, if that's what a family member wants, because obviously as a digital marketing agency, we already offer social media management and maintenance. If uh, a family approached us and said, we want this remaining active, we want likes, follows, shares, uh, you know, we want to know what's being said on the in memoriam pages, then yes, uh, a, a certain amount of what we do is for setting up those in memoriam walls so that people can leave messages about their memories of the person who's gone. Have you um, uh, worked with any celebrities? I'm sure you won't want to name names, but I mean, you can if you want. Um, but, you know, celebrities, have they come, come to you with for, for this kind of thing? Not for this service. Um, for some of our negative content removal and online reputation management, yes. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, because you do reputational management as well. So, uh, yes. I mean, how does that work? Uh, well, consider what you see about you if you did a Google search of your name. Mm-hmm. I hope the YouTube um, dancing is, is high up there at the top of your name search. I fear it is, yeah. Yeah, I'm sadly. Great, fantastic. Uh, but imagine if it wasn't that positive. Say there was a, a drink driving offence from 20 years ago that was still showing in Google um, or, or someone had been attacking you online. That's quite common if you own a company, sadly. Uh, people seem to think you're there to have a pop at. Um, so we can uh, look to remove negative content, if necessary, bury it under positive content like you would for online PR effectively, you know, managing press releases, websites and looping right back around to managing social media for people. And of course, you know, that kind of thing is important, isn't it? You know, we're talking today, it's the, uh, the Apprentice is on the TV tonight, it's the best bits with the interview process. And if you're going for a job interview, yes. you know, it might well be you've got something online that, you know, you thought was great at the time or whatever, negative news story, whatever it might be, that could be hindering you getting that job. So actually scrubbing it from online would would, would yeah, is beneficial isn't it it is that's one of our most common phone calls somebody's job hunting has been turned down after interview for a few positions and has come to realize it's what's been seen on a google search um I, i'm lucky I, I did my university years before there were camera phones yet alone internet so there's no record of you know european tours and, and dancing in fountains whereas 
kids now put everything online and don't necessarily stop to think what that's going to look like in their 20s or 30s when they're looking for a more senior or more professional position. We have a lot of uh, work removing content for people who have done adult modeling or adult entertainment. Um, and it's something that they were fine with at the time, but 10, 15 years later, isn't how they want to be seen. Mm. You said you wasn't going to mention that when we were talking on the show. You said you, you, that was that was between me and you. We were private about that. Anyway, listen, uh, thank <laughs> you for apologies. chatting to us today. I shall be in touch about uh, the YouTube video, <laughs> maybe at some Perfect. stage. Uh, Alana, it's fascinating, <laughs> fascinating work that you do. Thank you for chatting to us about it. Here in Lincolnshire, who'd have thought? Uh, the Cyber Funeral Service, that's uh, Alana Benson from Digital Ox. Would you do that if, you know, is there something embarrassing that you've done. I mean, I'm like Alana. I'm, I'm lucky that when I was going through my younger years, I didn't have smartphones, uh, videoing and uploading everything. Um, you know, it's only a more recent thing. But uh, oh, are there things online you'd like to remove? <laughs> things you've done already, or things from your? You think, blimey, if that had been online, I'd have wanted a company like that. Oh, get in touch. BBC Radio Lincolnshire. Travel 